Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brian my hands is The X Pets, Volume 1, Book 1. Uh, it's by Mark Tatuli. Uh, this is a pretty fun debut. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a book about a group of superhero pets. Uh, we get introduced to Stinky Dog, who is recruited into The X Pets. Uh, yes, his superhero name is Stinky Dog, uh, and they have to go on an adventure uh, to go defeat a supervillain. Why that villain is doing what they're doing, which is kidnapping kittens, well, I'll let you read the graphic novel and find out. Uh, this is a, a really fun uh, graphic novel for kids. I think they'll love it. Uh, as always, as a parent, I judge these type of things. If this is one I could read over and over and over to my kid and, and not go completely insane, the answer is yes. Uh, I, I could. There's something just kind of fun about this. This feels like like almost like an indie DC Super Pets to it. Uh, it. It makes fun of that in some ways, and overall it just kind of goes with the flow. I mean, the main character is named Stakey Dog, and his superpower is to make gross smells. Like, it's pretty much the level that you're getting. Uh, there's other characters of the ginormous gerbil, the wonder guppy, laser eye kitty, and all led by the incredible Mr. Turtle. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. It's it's a fun, simple book. Uh, it's really, really thick, but it's easy to read. Like, this would be a graphic novel I'd give to an early reader uh, to get them to sit down and used to, like, really large books. And I think there's a, a sense of accomplishment that they would appreciate uh, getting through the book. As you can see, like, the opening pages, there's no words at all. Um, this is one, I think, really geared towards kids that are learning to read, I would say, like, maybe seven or eight. Uh, that's kind of my my guess. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if they put an age near in the uh, the picture that I have here. It's anywhere, anywhere else? I don't know. It might be somewhere on here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, like the art, I think is really cool. The the, the designs are pretty funny. Um, yeah, this is age of seven to twelve. I nailed it. I said about seven or eight, so I'm I'm pretty good on that one. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a fun, fun read. It's entertaining. I found myself laughing a few times. I like the characters. It sets up, uh, potentially multiple sequels, uh, and I would read every single one of them, which I think says everything. Uh, so hopefully it's the start of a really nice, solid, uh, series of graphic novels that are entertaining. I think kids will really enjoy it. So you can go get it. It is out in shops. we got a link beneath this video. Put your zip code to a tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage, and by doing that, you'll support our site. So thanks for that. And speaking of support, I want to thank Caitlin Dowley Book and Thenium Books for Young Readers for putting us up with this review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics or into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky. All our graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.